Stop scrolling if you see white dots on the end of your hair. Hey, I'm Dory. I'm a hair and scalp expert through the USTI, the United States Trichology Institute. It is extremely common for people to recognize and see that their ends of their hair have little white dots on it. Oftentimes they will look like this. If that's familiar to you, keep watching because this video is exactly what you and your hair need. This is called trichorhexis nodosa, and it is not the same thing as split ends, but it's similar, and it's also caused by breakage. Breakage is normally caused by something chemical, so either you're swimming, you're in chemicals, or it's when you're at the hairstylist and you're in the salon and you're getting lots of chemicals put on your hair, or please, I hope you're not doing this, but if you're doing it at home, you could also be giving yourself chemical damage. It can also happen from using hot irons, so straightening and curling irons, damaging your hair, specifically the ends, and it can happen from just brushing too harshly. You need to slow down a bit. Um, really any type of damage that can occur to your hair, it can cause your hair to break and cause that white dot on the end of your hair strand. Unfortunately, there is no treatment for this. The best thing that you can do for your hair, especially if you wanna grow it out nice and long and you wanna have healthy hair, is to just cut it off. Just go get a trim, get a haircut, trim off those white dots. Second thing is to just take a little bit better care of your hair. Specifically, while you're brushing, just slow down, use a detangler, be very gentle with your hair, turn the heat on your hot tools down or stop using them completely, and make sure that you're using customized hair care. I cannot stress this enough. If you're using crappy hair care and you're trying everything else that's great, your hair health is not going to be as great as it could be. I do have a hair questionnaire in my bio, in my website. It's free, you can go fill that out and I will help you figure out exactly what type of products your hair needs. If you're not already doing so, please give me a follow and stay tuned for more hair and scalp health tips.